Look, Mag, we got uh, Carolyn Hamlet Gunslinger, Suicidal. Gonna have a, a bit of a blast today with this one. Get it? Because it's all about the, the gunpowder explosions in the barrel of the gun to propel the bullet for it. It's bad joke, I'm sorry. I went, uh... No, I already told you about that. I was gonna, I was gonna tell you about uh, going to my sister's work, but I... Literally, like, five minutes ago, I was just talking about that, so... Can't really talk about that again. Um, let's see, let's see. I bought my new fridge, it's coming soon. I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping a lot more frequently because of it, which... Okay, come on, I, uh... I am majorly upset that I can't jump over this railing. That... I call... I call a little bit of BS on that one, if you know what I mean. I call a little bit of BS on that one. I was expecting to jump over the railing, and I couldn't do that, and it killed me. It killed me. <sighs> alright, alright. Well, we got, uh, I got... I got the ND coming up on on Wednesday, which should be uh, if I can remember how to do this. This one should be going up on I believe Monday, so it should be two days for you guys. Not that you guys really care what day I play D and D on. I would be I would be very surprised if uh, if you guys cared exactly what day I played D and D on. You might care that I play D and D, but uh, the specific day it doesn't really have any. Uh, in, that doesn't really influence your life at all. To, okay, I kind of expected there to be a way out here as well, but uh, okay, there isn't. That's okay. God, you're just juking me hard, and I'm bad. Um, so I got D&D on that day. I've got a lot to plan. So I've got the general idea, but I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about things to. Like encounters and stuff to plan out, and I'm like, I don't know, what's what's gonna really, I wanna I wanna have some impact on this. It's the first session with uh, with full homebrew, right? I wanna I wanna make an impression. I wanna make a positive impression. So uh, got the general game ploy, the game plan, kind of planned out, but uh, the individual encounters, like what monsters are gonna be there, what puzzles are gonna be there. I don't really have that stuff planned out yet. And then uh, you know, today I've got a bunch of recording. Monday, I've got a bunch of recording to do. I've got uh, probably four or five hours of recording to do on Monday. And then uh, again on Tuesday, I've got about the same amount, probably, maybe a little bit more. Um, and then it's Wednesday, and we're, we're playing in the morning, and I'm like, uh, we're pushing it for time a little bit here, but it should be fine. I'll be, I'll be spending the vast majority of my time uh, that I'm not recording, <laughs> planning out these encounters. So I wanna. Well, I've got a, I've got a viewer that watches, so I don't really want to talk. I don't. I got a player that watches. Well, of course, all my viewers watch, but I got a player that watches, so I don't want to spoil things too much. But um, definitely got uh, definitely got some stuff planned out that I'm really excited for. Definitely got some stuff planned out to be planned that I'm very excited for. I guess we'll say. You know, I've got uh, I've got the the idea of it made up. I just I don't have the specifics, and it's going to be very exciting. A very very excited for it. And everybody's been, uh, you know, it's, it's a great feeling as a DM. You know, people are so excited to be um, making uh, making their new characters for uh, for their backup characters. Um, and then uh, they're, like, so excited to be able to play finally. And uh, they're, like, talking about stuff and, you know, talking about what could happen and how they're going to go from here and what's going to, you know, like... Just, just really getting into it lately, and uh, it's a great feeling for me as a DM because it means that I did something right, you know. When they're when they're spending their free time thinking about the game that, basically, that I run for them, I mean that's 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 some extremely, extremely nice, uh, like just reassurance that I'm doing it right, you know. When uh, when they're so excited about it like that, you know, my favorite thing 
is uh, isn't necessarily like when we're playing the game and having fun and everybody's laughing and having a good time. Although that is also great. It's uh, it's when the game ends and then people just can't stop talking about it. You know, when when the game goes on, like when the when the session goes on for like an hour after the uh, the game has ended, just because people want to keep talking about what happened and like how, how what are they gonna do now and. You know, when, when when people are getting so into it like that, like, that's my personal favorite feeling as a DM. It's, it's just, it's really validating that uh, that you've done something correct. That you uh, you hit them in the, the right spot, you made them feel some emotions, and uh, you made them invested in the story, and uh, to me that's just uh, extremely pleasant feeling, so... It's been it's been constantly that since the last session, which is fantastic. I'm very pleased about that, and uh, I'm hoping I can keep up that uh, that kind of existence where they're uh, they're very excited about it for uh, the foreseeable future as well. Because uh, I mean, everybody's having fun with it, right? And that's why I like it so much. Is everybody's just having having fun and enjoying themselves and. Uh, if I can keep that up and I can make that continue to happen going forward, then then I would say I have succeeded. We're going to be working on some... Uh, my my, uh, my players, they metagame a lot. So metagaming in D&D is when like they'll they'll think about things outside the game that they know of. Or uh, like they'll like they'll see a... a I'll describe to them this, uh, this spherical creature with uh, like 10... Like equal length spokes radiating from its uh, its circumference or whatever, right? And they're like, "Oh, that's a beholder! I know the stats of the beholder. We gotta watch out for them." I'm like, I get that you know it, and like you can't really unknow it, and it, it's hard. It's it's a hard thing to ask for for them to try and put themselves in their player in their in their character's shoes because you know the character doesn't know what a beholder is, and then. Um, you know, your character doesn't know what a beholder is, so you wouldn't know that you should avoid their, uh, their, you know, cone of magic, um, nullification or whatever, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't know that, but as a, as a player, you do know that, and you can't help but know that, so to try and act like you don't know that is, is honestly a lot to ask for, um, but that's what metagaming is. Uh, metagaming is also when it's, like, not your turn in combat, but you're still talking, and like giving advice on what to do, or if the team is split up, and uh, they're um, like talking to each other still, as though they were right next to each other, and like planning things out. And, like, oh, you should, you know, there's a store over there. You should go and like go into that store and hide in that store, or whatever. Like that's that's meta gaming. It's when you're you're taking the game outside of what your characters personally could do, and uh, and using your own personal like abilities and knowledge to, to complete something that your characters couldn't do. Uh, within reason, anyway. Um, so that's metagaming. And my players, you know, the, the whole, you know, you know the enemy, and um, you can't help but know it. Like, that's that's excusable to a certain extent. Like, it's hard to, to act like you don't know it. It's hard to put yourself in the character's shoes. I do it. I've, I've killed myself many a time, knowing that I would kill myself, because I'm like... That's just, that's what my character would do. My character has no idea what this thing is. I would just introduce myself as though, uh, as though it were friendly. Like, that's, that's what my character would do. And, uh, and so I'd do it. And, like, as a player, I'm like, I know that this thing is, like, evil incarnate. And I know that this is going to get me killed. But, like, this is what my character does. And then my DM is usually nice. I mean, I don't play anymore, but the DM's usually nice enough to be like, okay, you're just injured. You're not, you're not dead, you know? And uh, kind of, kind of pays off because the DM doesn't want to kill you, right? Uh, anyway, my, my my group does that a lot. They uh, they talk when it's other people's turns, or they'll talk when uh, when they're split up. And uh, so I asked I asked the moderators in the uh, in the server to give me permission to mute people in the uh, in the voice channel we use. So if it's if it's particularly bad, you know, I'm gonna ask them like just hey, stop it. And then as they do it, I'm gonna be. Uh, uh, like calling them out on it as it happens. It's like, hey, not your turn. Just chill. And I think that they'll pretty much get it. Um, but
but if uh, if it just happens to be a problem still, then I'll uh, I have the power to mute everybody who who isn't currently you know who doesn't have the talking stick, right? We'll be we'll be handing a talking stick around. So that's kind of what D and D is. is you gotta you gotta have that talking stick, that metaphorical talking stick, anyway. Because in combat, anyway, like everything's happening at the same time, right? Like it, it's you go one by one, but that's just to make it easier for you to, to follow what's happening in the combat. You can't say like everybody do do their thing at the same time. You have to go one by one, but it's all happening at the same time in the in the game. Um. So uh, you can't really like have conversations and talk like it's like six seconds is the entire thing. You can't have like four conversations throughout it. It's the, the time is just not there. Um, so we'll have to we'll have, have to figure out what I'm gonna do about them for that. But I think they'll be able to get it pretty fine. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like it if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.